Monday vlog. What is happening, everybody? Good to have you. Good to be here. Tuning in again for the Monday vlog. It's October. I'm fucking excited about October. I have so many cool things coming in October, and that makes me really happy. And some of them are already like recorded and edited, so that's cool. They're just ready to go. So I'm very excited. A spook a day is doing it for me. I'm pumped on those videos, and I hope you're enjoying them. So I recently went like film crazy like 35 millimeter camera film crazy um, actually one moment guys uh, yeah so I picked up this like Olympus stylus zoom uh, 140 deluxe what a great name for a camera uh, I picked this guy up at a thrift store for like two bucks two dollars I think he was um, and I found this guy online in a bunch of like forums and stuff where people are like these are great little point-and-shoot film cameras They're amazing and nobody values them so you can get them for cheap uh, Yeah, I was on some like top 10 list of cameras under 20 bucks that are awesome uh, And so I've been shooting film with this which has been super exciting um, Expensive but like super exciting and super fun, uh, but this thing's hilarious check this shit out. Okay slide this shit open There we go that loads check out the zoom on this motherfucker. You ready? Whoa! Look at that shit! Look at it just pop and chub for the right exposure. You heard it here first, folks. Yeah, so I've been shooting film with this guy. Uh, I also recovered my, uh, my childhood camera, the family film camera from when I was growing up, and I shot some film with that. So this guy here is the uh, Pentax SF-1 um, <laughs> I guess. It's like an 80s Pentax film camera, uh, and the lens that I have on it is from my first uh, digital SLR camera, this like Pentax kit lens. And uh, it's kind of cool, when it's zoomed all the way back, there's like some vignetting around the edge of the pictures because, I mean, there's some generational compatibility issues. Uh, super fun to shoot with, uh, some great results with this camera. I also picked up this point-and-shoot Canon uh, F35 ML. Um, this little autofocus point and shoot, no zoom on this thing. You just point it at stuff and take photos. I haven't developed any film from this thing just yet. I just finished up my first roll last night, so we'll see how it turns out. But all of this film shooting, I got some exciting, potentially exciting, um, film developed. Some cool shots of some cool things. Uh, so this is an example here of the vignetting that happens with the, the Pentax camera. So I got my little Knight of the Slice dude jammed in a fence. Very high school photo. High school photo class photos always include chain link fences and lockers. And apparently I never grew up because there's a chain link fence in this one. So the Killer J, so Fubi there. Um, oh! A little Greedo on the windowsill. Some more Knights of the Slice hanging on some pavement. And this one's kind of my favorite. This, uh, this tank here. I like the way the background is sort of washed out uh, and not in focus, but the uh, the tank on the post is. So I've truly been enjoying shooting film. It's been a fun hobby. And maybe this vlog is like a, what's your cool hobby? <laughs> what do you do? What expensive niche hobby do you have? I mean, we're all collecting toys, I would assume. But uh, I don't know. It's nice to, it's nice. It's nice to like put your time and effort into uh into a creative outlet like that. I mean, this YouTube channel is my creative outlet, but shooting film has been really fun as well. So that's been my adventure into uh, shooting film photography, shooting 35mm film. Uh, I'll keep you guys posted. I'll show you more pics in the future, because I've really been enjoying taking these cameras out and uh, getting some toy shots out in the wild, out and about. Um, but if you ever see this camera at a thrift store, pick it up. Um, the Olympus Infinity Stylus Zoom whatever. If you find it for a couple bucks, it's super fun. It's super fun to shoot shoot film with. Uh, it does a pretty damn good job, too. So earlier in a vlog, your old Pepper was making promises about a Lego city, uh, and I wanted to start on my like little Chinatown area, and I built a building the other day that I'd like to show you, but it's very European. <laughs> it's, it's not very Ninjago, Chinatown, Japantown, Lego city. It's very, like, English or Amsterdamian. Amsterdamian. Uh, Holland, Hollish, Swedish. Damn it! It's very European, the building. Uh, so yeah, I'll show this off to you guys. Ooh, something's rattling in there. Boom! Look at this little thing. Um, it's fine. I didn't do a great job. 
In fact, I'd like to work a little harder on it. So maybe what I'll do, maybe I'll uh, take a crack at this thing and, uh, oh, that's, that's coming apart. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this guy uh, and I'm going to put a little work into him and we'll reconvene in a moment and I'll show you what updates I've done. I'd like to have, like, it's not modular, like I can't take the floors apart. And also inside, if I'm to, like, give you guys a little peek in here. But inside, there's just nothing. And that's not cool. It needs to it needs to be functional for a Lego person to live in. So maybe I'll doctor up the inside a little bit, might adjust some of the outside features, and make the floor sort of stackable. And uh, we'll reconvene in a bit, and I'll show you guys what I've done to this uh, this Lego building. And it'll be the first little Lego dwelling in my Lego city. And I purposefully wanted it to have a very small footprint, because um, my goal is to build up as opposed to out, because I don't have a ton of space for this Lego project. But, uh, yeah, I'll show you guys, uh, what happens to this little guy in a mom, in a mom, in a moment, in a little bit. Alright guys, so, not gonna lie, the progress I made on the building, not humongous. Uh, I just modified the first floor to have some detail in it, which I will now show you. I had to cut it a little bit short, I kinda legoed my whole fucking house. But I had to cut it short because uh, I've got to edit this thing up and then get myself over to the 3DG podcast, which I will be uh, a guest star. I'm not, I know star. Oh, my collar's popped. I'm going to be a guest on the 3DG podcast, so I'll link downstairs to their thing. You can check them out. Uh, we're going to be talking about it, and I guess that'll be posted in a couple days. Um, so yeah, here's... Uh, Without further ado, here's the inside of the, the first floor of this building. The uh, door swings open to reveal a little kitchen build. So, inside there I've got a sink, a little countertop with a burger on it, a little stove top there, whoop, some, some milk on a shelf, and a little cupboard. Uh, so the first floor now has some detail in it. It is less boring, uh, and it is now fit for a little Lego dude to, uh, to eat a burg in. You know, he's got a sink to wash his hands after he bergs his hands up. Uh, so yeah, there's the first floor slightly modified of my first LEGO City building uh, for the LEGO City that I'm going to slowly work on uh, until my demise. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you all Halloween long, all October long for the weekly, weekly, for the daily videos and my regular weekly uploads. So I will see you tomorrow for the regular upload. I'll see you Thursday on the stream and we'll do it all over again except with a bunch of Halloween peppered in between. So I will see you soon my friends. Goodbye.